Hi, it's Anna. Um, I got a new shirt. I can show you. He is greater than I. Um, anyway, today I'm going to, instead of a song, I'm going to do a um, list of Bible verses that I came up with the other day that are um, encouraging and inspirational to me, and I hope that they'll be the same for you. So the first one is... Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Philippians I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I actually don't have the reference for that one, but I know it's somewhere in the New Testament. My God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory. Philippians 4.19 Next up is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My cup runs over. Or, sorry, first you anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Ephesians 3, 12 through 21. In whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. Therefore, I ask that you do not lose heart at, any, at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. For this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is, what is the width and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory in church, to him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Next up is Philippians 4, 6, and 7, which says, Be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your heart and mind, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Matthew ten twenty nine through thirty one. Let's find it really quick. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin, and not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's will? But the very hairs on your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Okay. Matthew 7, 24 and 25. Therefore, whoever hears, hears these sayings of mine, of God's, and does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built 
his house on the rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. Matthew six twenty five through 34 Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you, you not of more value than they? Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Matthew 7, 7 through 11. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will not will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? Lastly, Jeremiah 29.11 for I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and a hope. I hope that was encouraging to you. If you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.